Hello everyone! Welcome to my video. My name is Stella. How are you? In today's video, we are going to make something really cute and useful. We are going to make cup cozies or cup sleeves. They are really easy and quick to make and an excellent gift idea. So let's start! Come with me! We are going to need tapestry needle, scissors, crochet hook, and this is optional, but I like to use fabric glue, and measuring tape, and then any kind of yarn. And the amount you are going to need is very little, so you can use your scrap yarn. So we need approximately 12 grams of yarn, let's say. So this is the acrylic yarn. Let's see if the one I made with cotton yarn has any difference. A little bit heavier, so I would say it's approximately 12 grams of yarn. So just for your reference, I'm going to be using number 4 medium worsted weight acrylic yarn today. And a crochet hook that is 4 millimeters. And for the cup cozy that is already finished, I used cotton yarn that is also number 4 medium cotton yarn. And I used the same hook size, which was 4 millimeters. You can use any kind of yarn that you want. You just have to adjust the hook size accordingly. So if you use a thicker yarn, you can increase the hook size, right? And if you use a thinner yarn, you decrease your hook size. And to make cup cozies, I like to use a crochet hook smaller than the suggested for the kind of yarn you are going to use because I like to have my cup cozies firm and not have a lot of holes between the stitches so our hands are well protected against the warm or the cold from the drink that is in our cup. So when I'm making my cup cozies, I treat them as if I'm making amigurumis, where uh, we want those stitches very close together so we don't have any fiber feel coming from the holes. Do you know what I mean? After gathering your materials, the first thing you have to do is to measure your cup. So we are going to measure the circumference of the cup. So my cup is approximately 10 inches in circumference. As I'm using a yarn that stretches, I'm going to make my cup cozy a little bit smaller than 10 inches. I usually like to make it one inch less than the circumference of the cup. If you don't have the cup, Measurements, don't worry, because I would say that a circumference of around 9 to 10 inches is the standard circumference for takeout cups. So, if you make your cup cozy measuring approximately 8 to 9 inches in circumference, you are all good to go. I have a cup cozy here that I made using cotton yarn. Look at that, it's super cute. But today, I'm going to make one using acrylic yarn. And the results are both good. Let me show you the measurements for this one that I made using cotton yarn. So look at that. The diameter is approximately 4.5 inches. So the circumference is 9 inches. And then here the height is approximately 3 inches. You can make it taller here right? But I wouldn't make it smaller, otherwise it doesn't protect your hands, right? I have a pretty small hand, and this one, you see, it covers my palm here perfectly. This tutorial here is going to be a two-in-one pattern, because you're gonna have the option to make it twisted here on the front, or always straight, and then it's gonna look like this all around. And it has a ribbed effect, so if you decide not to make the twisted detail here in the front, it's still nice because of the ribbed effect that it has. And I always like to bring you ideas and tutorials that are very versatile. So, you can use the same steps to make these popular ear warmers. 
Look at that. This one is for adult and this one is for kids. And it's the same idea as the cup cozy. The only difference is that you have to adjust the size to fit the person's head. So you're going to increase the circumference and the number of rows here. So we start by making a slip knot. And then we are going to make a foundation chain that measures the desired circumference. So we make chains until we reach that measurement. So many, many chains <laughs> until we get to the measurement. I cannot give you a number of chains because you're going to use the measurement that you take there in the beginning or just use the standard measurement for takeout cups. So I still have some to go. So I only have a few more chains now to go. So here I always like to make an extra chain so we can start working on our first row. And on the first row we make one half double crochet stitch in each chain from the foundation chain. So we are going to skip one chain here and then we are going to go to the next and make our first half double crochet over there. The first one is always a little bit hard to start here but the other ones are going to be easier. All right, so now we don't skip any chains, we just make one half double crochet in each chain here. And if you want to just grab one loop of your chain or two loops of your chain, it's up to you. Doesn't make much of a difference. So look at that. I'm almost done on my first row and I'm making one half double crochet in each chain from the foundation chain. And I make a half double crochet by yarning over and then I insert my hook in the chain. I grab my yarn here from the back, I bring it to the front and up. And then I yarn over and I pass my yarn through all the three rings on the hook here. All right, so let's make our last half double crochet for this row. There you go, the first row is complete. Now to make the second row, we chain one and then we turn our work. So now we work half double crochet stitches in the back loop only. We make a half double crochet passing our yarn only through the back loop here of the previous half double crochet. So look, here is the front of the work and the front of our half double crochet stitches. And then if you look from the top, you see there are two loops there. So we work by grabbing only that back loop. Let's make one more. So look at that, the front. Go to the top view and then you grab only that back loop there from your half double crochet. And then this creates the ribbed effect of this work. 
So it's one half double crochet in the back loop only in each half double crochet from the previous round. So it's just rows of half double crochet in each half double crochet from the previous rows. Super easy and super fast. It works up really quick. So you can use this same design for ear warmers, scarves, pretty much everything, leg warmers. And I have a pattern already for leg warmers on my channel. And it's the same idea, you just make them in different measurements. So I'm working on my last half double crochet from row two. There you go. And then I chain one and I turn my work to start row three. And this row and all the others, we also work a half double crochet on the back loop only. It's like this, half double crochet stitches in the back loop only. So one half double crochet in each half double crochet from the previous row. <laughs> I say that all the time and many times, right? <laughs> I hope it's clear and not too annoying because I say it all the time. <laughs> so we are going to keep making rows until we reach the desired height. So I want my cup cozy to measure approximately three inches here in height. So I'll keep making rows until I reach that desired height. And as you can see, it's not gonna be a lot of work. I'm almost halfway done actually, and I'm only in row three. So it's really quick and the end result is super cute. So let's keep working and I'm going to meet you here when I'm on my last row, okay? All right, so here is my last row. I just have a few stitches left to finish it. And the last stitch. Now I'm going to cut my yarn, leaving a tail of approximately 8 inches. Remember that I told you in the beginning that this tutorial is a two-in-one pattern? So the first option is the one that is not twisted in the front. So we are just going to close our mug cozy in half and with the tapestry needle and the yarn tail that we left, we are going to join the two ends of the cup cozy. This is the simplest and easiest way. The other one is also easy, it's not complicated, but this one is just straightforward. And I like to close it with whip stitch. I just pass my yarn over here, the two ends, and then under with the tapestry needle. So I grab two loops of my half double crochet stitches here, and I pass the yarn to the other side. And then I go over and under. I hope that's clear. <laughs> and in this way, you start closing that gap. So when you are done, you just weave in the ends and your cup cozy is all ready to go. So I'm just gonna conceal these tails here inside my cup cozy. And there it is, the first option is ready. Super cute and super cozy. All right, so now let's go to the second option. 
So now for the second option, you hold your two ends here of your cup cozy in a way that you kind of form a C. Look at that. Two C's, but one is in the opposite side. And then you have to put one C inside the other. So you join them like this. It's like one C is eating the other. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Ah, that's funny. So let's do it again. You have the two ends of your work here. You hold them like you are making a little letter C. So one is in the opposite side. Look at that. Right? Look. And this one is in the right side. So a letter C there. Look at that. And then to join them, you just put one inside the other. So the top of the C that is in the wrong side goes inside the C that is in the right side. And the bottom of the C that is in the wrong side goes under the C that is in the right side. I think this is easier to see from the visuals than explaining it, right? So I think it's clear that you can see here what I'm doing. Right? Look at that. And now with the tapestry needle and the yarn tail, we are going to sew this closed and we have to make sure we pass the yarn tail through all the layers here that we formed. So it's four layers. So let's do it. So there, look, one layer, two layers, three layers. Now we go back up and we grab a little loop from each half double crochet here. So one layer, two layers, three layers, four layers. And then we bring that yarn tail up. And then one layer, two layers, three layers, four layers. The yarn goes down. And then we continue doing that until we reach the end here. And then that opening is closed. So that's how you create that twisted effect on your projects. Now you have to turn your work on the right side and then look at that. You have the twisted effect there. Now we just have to weave in and conceal this end here inside the mug cozy. Just a side note here, so for your ribbed effect to be on the right side, after you finish sewing the two ends together, you have to flip your work. When I finished sewing it, it was like this. You see, the ribbed effect here is not so cute, so beautiful. <laughs> so when you turn it around, and then it's perfect and cute. Look at that. So this is the correct side. And we are all done. So I have my two options here side by side. Which one is your favorite? I cannot decide, they are both cute. So I'll use one in one day and the other one the next day. And I'll keep alternating them and I'll have a different mug cozy every day. You can also make them in so many different colors, right? I also want to show you and put the cotton one side by side with the acrylic ones. So this is the cotton one. This is acrylic and this is acrylic. Look at that. Which one do you prefer? I personally prefer the ones I make with acrylic yarn because it holds the shape better. This one with use, it starts to stretch a lot. 
These are an excellent gift idea because you can print these free printables and then you can gift it to someone. I'll leave the link from where I got these printables. Look at that. One great idea to level up your gift, if you are giving someone a gift card from Starbucks or from Tim Hortons, for example, I'm from Canada, so I love Tim Hortons, <laughs> is to uh, give one of these together with the gift card. So it levels up, right, the gift card, because it's not just that you went and bought the gift card and gave it to the person. You also put some thought into it and you made something handmade for the person. As always, thank you so much for watching my videos. And I hope this tutorial was useful and that you make many, many, many cup cozies. <laughs> if you do, please, Tag me on social media so I can see your work. Thank you so much for watching and I would love to see you again. So if you like my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Bye bye and have a good day.